This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I bridge two objects together and keep their existing UVs and topology? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have two sample objects here loaded in. So I have two sphere subtools, and if I just isolate each one of these, you can see that I just have a simple sphere mesh here, and this mesh has UV coordinates, and it also has a texture map being applied to it. And then I have a second sphere that has UV coordinates and also a texture map applied. So both these models here are on separate subtools currently, and they each have independent UVs. So the question is asking about taking two models like this and joining them together and then maybe bridging the area between these two meshes, but keeping the UVs and topology on this mesh and this mesh as they were, so not distorting either of those. So how can I go by doing that? So the first thing we need to do is get both these subtools onto a single subtool. So we need to take each one of these and merge them together. So I'm just gonna to come to the top here and I'm gonna select the top subtool. And then I'm gonna come down here to the merge option under the subtool palette here. And in here you have an option for merge down. Now, if you just simply click merge down, it's just going to take this mesh and merge it into this bottom mesh down below. However, in order to hold UVs, you wanna make sure that you have this UV option here toggled on before you do this process. So go to the subtool palette and then go to merge and then down here, activate UV. And this is gonna make sure that when you merge these two subtools together, it's going to keep the UVs that were on this tool and keep the UVs that were on this tool. And when it merges it together, they'll still have those separate UVs. So I'm just gonna make sure that is on and now I'm just gonna perform a merge down. And this is an undoable operation, so you're gonna get a little dialog, I'm just gonna hit okay. And now I should have a single subtool with both of those meshes together. Now, since both of these meshes were referencing the same texture map, you're not gonna notice a change on this. If you had a different texture map applied to that first part and a different texture map applied to that second part, you will see that one texture map will be removed in that process. And that is because ZBrush has a one texture map per subtool limit. So you can only apply one map at a time per subtool. So now I have both these models together as one subtool, and they both have their separate geometry and also their separate UVs. You can see they're displaying different results from that texture map. And now I just wanna bridge these together. So I wanna create a area between here, and maybe I also wanna fill in these end caps here, but I don't wanna distort the UVs or the geometry on these parts of the mesh. So there's two processes you can use to do this. So this first process is involving the Z Modeler brush, and this works really well for joining low resolution topology like you have here. So I'm just gonna duplicate this quick because I wanna do two versions of this for you guys. So I'm just gonna make sure I just have a backup of this one file. And to do this bridging, I'm just gonna come over to the brush palette over here and I'm gonna isolate by letter Z, and then I'm gonna press M to select the Z Modeler brush. And while I have the Z Modeler brush selected, I'm just gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna hover over one of these edges. And by default, this should be in the insert edge loop action. And then I'm gonna press spacebar and I'm gonna open up the Z Modeler edge action menu. And in here, I'm gonna find the bridge action here. And I'm gonna select the target of two holes. So I'm first gonna click one edge and then I'm gonna rotate the models here and I'm gonna click the second edge. And when I click the second edge, I'm gonna click and hold. And this is gonna allow me to now look at the bridge that's happening. And then while I'm still holding, if I move up and down, I can add or decrease the amount of divisions between there. So I'm gonna keep it pretty low like that. And then when I release, I now have those two options bridged together. And as you can see, the UVs and the texture coordinates from this first sphere and the second sphere have not changed. So it's held those UV coordinates. Now this new part of the geometry that was added in between these two does not really have any UVs associated with it. So it's getting a color, but if you would do a UV check on this now, you're gonna get a lot of mangled UVs out of this. So you're gonna wanna make sure you go back and unwrap these new parts of topology that you've just added on the model. Now, if I wanna close these holes, um, I can do a similar process as well. I can go to the geometry tab here, and I can go to modify topology, and I can do a close holes, which will just instantly close those guys. If you want a little cleaner topology on those areas, you can also use the Z Modeler brush as well. So I can just undo that quick. So I'm gonna hover over one of these edges and I'm gonna press spacebar to go back into the Z Modeler edge action menu. And this time I'm gonna select the close action and I'm gonna choose the target of convex hole. 
And now I'm going to come across one of these holes here on the side. I'm going to click and hold. And then once again, you can scroll up and down to add or decrease the amount of topology it's going to be generating. So I'm going to add probably one loop. And then when we release, I've now closed that hole. And I can do that again on the same size. Just come over the edge and just click. And then that is going to close that hole as well. So now I have the UVs and the topology being held for these middle areas where I had those UVs already established. I've now added new geometry to the ends and also bridged the two parts together. And the UVs on the original parts have still held. And now I just have pretty much like temporary UVs on the new parts of geometry. So now if I come down and go to the texture map tab here, I can go to create and do new from UV map. And you're gonna see this is the results I'm getting. So you are going to have to re-UV map the newly created geometry, but your existing geometry still should have the same UV coordinates and also the same topology. So that is the process you can use with the Z modeler brush to work on low resolution topology to bridge those two holes. Now let's say I've got a model with a little more topology to it. So I'm gonna return back to these two guys and just the duplicate version that I created. And for this one, I'm just going to divide up some. So I'm going to go to the Geometry tab, and now I'm just going to simply divide up. So just adding some more resolution, and I'm going to add around up to 164,000 points here, and then I'm just going to do a Delete Lower. So you may have this option here where you have a piece of geometry that's not really low, but you still have UV coordinates, and you want to bridge these two holes now. Now, when you have meshes with high resolution like this, the Z-Modeler brush isn't going to be your best solution for this. However, there is a Curve Bridge brush you can select. So if I go back to my brush palette over here and select Curve Bridge, I can now use this brush to bridge those two holes. So to use this brush, you just need to start dragging out on the surface of your model towards the hole and then hold Shift. And this will then create a curve ring around that open hole. So tagging one of those holes. And then I can do it on the other side. So drag out and hold Shift. And then after you establish a second ring around a second hole, when you release, it's going to bridge those two areas of geometry together. As you can see, it's created new topology in that area there. It's kept the same topology on my two spheres here and also kept their existing UVs. You can see I now have bridged those two pieces of geometry and I've still kept those two original shapes. And then for closing holes again, uh, the best bet for high resolution topology like this would be just come over here and click close holes. And this will now close holes on those ends there. And as you can see with this model, I've still kept those UV coordinates and I've added new topology between those areas. So those are two workflows that you can use inside a ZBrush to take two subtools that have UVs. You wanna first make sure that you have this UV option selected down here in the subtool merge area and make sure that's active before you do your merge down. After you have those two subtools together as a single subtool, you can then use processes like the Curve Bridge Brush or the Z Modeler Edge Bridge options to come through and bridge those areas of topology. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!